Hello there. There was a familiar scent upon the wind. I guessed that you would come. <sighs> I'm very happy to have some place to settle down for a time. When I'm by myself, I often look outside just to appreciate the scenery. With no one around, one's heart will naturally calm. Tomorrow is uncertain, but at least I'll always have the stability of the present. A pity that I can't reside here for long, for my blade will dull. I am most thankful. Each year yields scorching summers and frigid winters. The hottest and coldest days are difficult for me to weather, but the weather here is always comfortable. It is truly a blessing to leisurely pass one's time here. All right, but what to talk about? Let me think. The rainy season recently set itself upon us. Any topics pertaining to rain? <laughs> if the rain is heavy, I'll usually seek shelter. Hmm. Caves are my primary choice, but if there's a wild animal inside, you must first contest it. My second choice is an abandoned temple, but there are usually drafts and the omnipresent scent of mold. If there are no other options, I'll shelter under a tree. But I don't dare do this in a thunderstorm. Too dangerous. As a last resort, I'll try my luck on houses with their lights on. Of course, I'll give up if I'm unlucky. <laughs> if someone with a blade knocks on the door during a rainy night, most people would be on their guard. Understanding this, there's no need to bother them. Besides, the world is vast, and there's always somewhere to go. No need for worry. The outdoors won't always be rainy, and one's life won't always be overcast. Turn your gaze skyward on a clear night, and you will see thousands of stars. Hmm. Please take this. I heard that the maple leaves back home have already turned red. I want to go back and take a look, but it's a long journey. I can't return for now. I was wandering the market the other day and saw these well-preserved maple leaves, so I bought some. Although I can't confirm whether they're from my hometown, they still help blunt my homesickness. Yes. In the past, I collected maple leaves upon the autumnal winds and carried them on my person. When I was on the boat, I scattered them across the surface of the ocean and watched them float to distant shores. Perhaps another homesick soul will have picked up one of those leaves. Indeed. From a purely visual perspective, red maple leaves have a unique beauty to them. Every year in my hometown, people enjoy the scene of falling red leaves. The maple leaves are a crimson sunset and fall like scarlet rain. A thick layer of fallen leaves on the ground. The chirping of autumn insects. And the wandering birds. Ah, uh, how improper of me. I should have taken the initiative to invite you. But I was absorbed by my own homesickness. Thank you. Then take this maple leaf as a keepsake. Our promise is thus made. When the maple leaves next bloom red, we shall go to my hometown, together. Good night. Tonight's wind is gentle, so there should be a plentitude of wonderful dreams. A tranquil tea house with finely crafted ornamentation and the scent of tea lingering in the air. Hmm. The atmosphere here is truly delightful. When you can spare the time, why not join me to discuss our favorite poetry over tea? This peaceful scene puts the mind at ease. Even the most ordinary stretch of countryside, the humblest of hills, harbors poignant profundities from the distant past. Offer them your full, undivided attention, and each flower, each tree, each blade of grass will whisper their stories to you. <laughs>